A hypersonic missile is a type of missile capable of traveling at speeds far exceeding the speed of sound. Typically, the speed of these hypersonic missiles is Mach 5 or more, which is more than five times the speed of sound. This makes the hypersonic missile one of the most rapid weapon systems currently available. This incredible speed provides several strategic advantages. First, hypersonic missiles have a very short response time, meaning they can reach their target within minutes or even seconds of being launched. This provides surprise and limits the enemy's reaction time to respond to threats. In addition, hypersonic missiles are also very difficult to detect and counter by enemy defense systems. The high speed and complex flight profile make the hypersonic missile difficult to track by enemy radars and difficult to detect by existing missile defense systems. Over the past decades, countries such as the United States, Russia, China, and several other countries have carried out research and development in creating more sophisticated hypersonic missiles. Their goal is to increase their strike capability, reduce travel time, and solidify military dominance in the world. However, while the potential for hypersonic missiles is very exciting, there are also challenges and risks associated with them. In the next video, we'll explore further how hypersonic missiles work, the technologies they employ, and the strategic implications of their use in the context of modern conflicts. America's Hypersonic Arms Race with China The U.S. Department of Defense has earmarked funds for the development of hypersonic weapons after worrying about China's preeminence in the field in recent years. However, this arms race is fraught with great risks, especially when there is no complete understanding of China's weapons development and as relations between the two countries worsen. Hypersonic weapons are vehicles and missiles that can travel at speeds greater than Mach 5, or five times the speed of sound. Although the U.S. has been developing and testing hypersonic weapons since the 1950s, U.S. investment in these systems has been relatively small in recent decades. Meanwhile, China and Russia have been developing their hypersonic programs. Several other countries such as Australia, Iran, North and South Korea, Brazil, Germany, Israel, India, and Japan are also developing hypersonic programs. However, the increased funding and acceleration of U.S. programs comes as relations between the U.S. and China are currently at their worst in decades. According to a report from the Congressional Budget Office in January, Funding for the development and demand for U.S. Army and Air Force hypersonics from 2023 to 2027 totals $15 billion. This figure does not include the Navy's hypersonic development program, which has announced a $1.1 billion contract with defense manufacturer Lockheed Martin to equip some world-class destroyers with hypersonic systems. The advantage of hypersonic weapons lies in their ability to maneuver in flight and avoid detection by missiles and defense systems such as the Patriot. This differs from ballistic weapons in that it is more dependent on speed. China's hypersonic testing success and tensions between China and the United States have raised concerns about accelerating weapons development and hostile rhetoric. However, the costly development costs of hypersonic weapons, ranging from $15 million to $18 million per missile, have been one of the main obstacles to their widespread use in combat. In addition, there are concerns that China could share technology with adversaries of the United States such as North Korea, Iran, and especially Russia, which also have their own hypersonic programs. The possibility of defense and technology cooperation between China and Russia is of particular concern. The ambiguity and lack of U.S. dominance in hypersonic weapons is also a problem in the U.S. defense of China's hypersonic program. Besides that, we will also see the superiority of Iran's hypersonic missiles. In the midst of increasing tensions with its two biggest enemies, Israel and the United States, Iran launched its first hypersonic missile, Fatah, which is claimed to be able to penetrate all enemy missile defense systems. Developed by IRGC Aerospace Force specialists, 
the Fatah hypersonic ballistic missile was launched in the presence of Iranian President Ebrahim Raisi and senior commanders of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps. The missile has a range of 1,400 kilometers, 870 miles, can travel at speeds of up to Mach 15, 5,145 meters or 16,880 feet per second, and uses solid propellant to allow for high maneuverability. Fatah's revelations are significant because Iran will be the first country in the entire Middle East region to deploy a hypersonic weapon that travels at more than five times the speed of sound. The missile can overcome various types of air defense systems by maneuvering variously into and out of the Earth's atmosphere, thanks to its solid fuel propulsion system and second-stage mobile nozzle. Global military experts cast doubt on Iran's claims of the Fatah being a hypersonic missile, calling it an Iranian attempt at information warfare. In addition, Patriot's alleged interception of the Russian Kinzhal hypersonic missile has further raised suspicions about the invincibility of the hypersonic missile.